tell us about, you know, you went into cardiology. I don't know the statistics. I think it's 85 to 90% male oriented. Traditionally, it yes. is changing. Certainly, uh, certain areas of cardiology, like the cath lab, used to be 95% male. Uh, that's changing. Uh, yes. You and I both uh, were practicing in a hospital with a very internationally known female cath lab cardiologist, Cindy Grinds, and that was unusual, and she was distinct around the country. But talk again, you know, you're you're a female in a cardiology program that's hardcore and driving. A lot of the mentors were from the Boston programs where... You know, you're supposed to be on call every other night and work 100 hours a week and, yes. you know, delay your marriage and delay your children for your medical training. And here you are, uh, you know, married and raising two small children, having children. I mean, what was that like then? And what do you see for, you know, female fellows that are going through the program now? Yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, this field... Um, there have been many changes, but there continues to be a lot to be desired in cardiology. And um, as as you and I both know, you know our our the program I trained in was has always been very supportive. And um, Rob Safian, who was a program director, his his uh, vision and his leadership really got me and a lot of female fellows through because he truly understood. Because I remember as a first year fellow, I was have I was in a meeting with him, and um, I was I was recounting some of the challenges I was having as a fellow, which is, you know, my my daughter, my young daughter who was just a year old was in daycare and my husband was traveling a lot and I lived really far away from the hospital and it needed to go back pick her up and there's just so many logistical issues and he said something to me that has stayed with me to this day he said you should do that and then he said listen you don't need to explain to anything to me I have a wife and you are the wife so I get it you know and I just, I just thought that was so profound, and um, and similarly, you know, there's there's just been a lot of support. However, you know, what you just said is really the problem in um, this field, which is this work culture, which is quite toxic. I don't understand. Uh, I have never really understood why it is that you value somebody overworking to that extent. Um, it's almost like martyrdom, right? You just, I, there is just absolutely no need to work like that. You're, you're um, people almost look down on this issue of work-life balance. It's like, if you, if you look for work-life balance, then you may not be a good doctor. You may not be, um, you know, sincere. You may, and there are just so many misconceptions about that to this day. And the other issue here, you know, what you said about women uh, coming into this field is a lot of women are turned off by this um, culture because there is simply, um, you know, this this thing that if you are going to be a successful cardiologist, you do need to work 100 hours a week and forget that you have a family or you forget that you even have some kind of a life outside of the hospital. And... Uh, and unfortunately, I have to say, I, it would be remiss of me if I don't say this. What has happened with the women who uh, have been very successful in cardiology, not everybody, of course, but probably the previous generation prior to mine uh, or overlapping with mine, is the only way the women came and became successful in cardiology was to um, function like the men around them you know, work those same hours and give up everything else and uh, mm -hmm. to be in level, you know, to feel like the playing field is level, they needed to become or or take on this um, way of being of men. And that is not equality. Equality is not sameness. And I don't need to uh, work 100 hours a week just because you want to do that, right? And um, 
And that should not diminish me if I don't want to do that, if there are other things I want to do. And so this thing, you know, there remains this kind of a perception and you, it's almost like a sub subconscious perception that goes on. I, I'm not sure if patients think that, but definitely it's there in our culture of uh, medicine and particularly these competitive fields. And um, it really is an off-putting thing to a lot of women who would be amazing cardiologists, but they don't want to be part of this culture. 